Most people think that losing weight is all about strict diets and intense workouts, but in fact, it's about something much deeper. I'm Faye Nicola, a specialist in health and weight loss, helping women take control of the health, hormones, and productivity. Together with my partner, Camber, we have helped 582 women implement these strategies with ease. I'm about to share with you the secret ingredient to long-term weight loss, and it will completely change the way you approach your journey. I'm gonna share with you the four steps of our metabolic foundation framework and how to avoid the biggest mistake that keeps those pounds rebounding back on. There's a powerful insight coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. The first step of our metabolic foundation framework started with Santorio Sanctorius. But what does a 16th century physiologist have to do with your waistline? And what do you need to know to lose these pounds for good? Sanctorius's research helped us to understand hormonal balance and weight loss. Using his man-made weigh-in chair in the 1500s, he weighed his food and drink intake and his excretion each day. But he found the intake was always heavier than the excretion. So where did the weight go? Dubbed the fall of metabolism, he concluded that a substantial amount of the weight from his food was lost through sweat and even breathing. And this can be seen in more recent science too. The metabolism is often forgotten about in the eat less, move more advice. But it is the secret formula to keeping the weight off for good. And understanding this could be a game changer for you. It's something like Rebel Wilson, Adele, and Jennifer Hudson have all mastered. There's a reason they've succeeded and it all comes back to these principles. Our metabolic foundation framework is broken up into four areas. Step one is sleep. Imagine hiking up a mountain. Each day you need to climb further up the ascent, but without the right rest and recovery you'll find yourself exhausted and unable to continue the journey up the mountain. When you skip on quality sleep, it's like trying to climb the mountain without any oxygen or a map. Poor sleep disturbs the balance of two vital hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin signals to the brain that you're full, while ghrelin tells you that you're hungry. Lack of sleep reduces leptin and increases ghrelin, leaving you feeling hungrier and less satiated after meals, leading to you overeating or binge in the snack cupboard in the evening. Every hour of missed sleep is like taking a step back down the mountain, and it can take between four and nine days to recover from one hour of missed sleep. Was that Netflix binge really worth it? On the other hand, having good quality sleep transforms your journey. You wake up energized and ready to take on the next part of the hike. Step two is stress. As you climb higher, unpredictable weather comes in. Stressors. It makes every step feel more difficult and these storms can push you off course. When stress levels are high, your body produces a hormone called cortisol and this leads to increased fat storage and craving for sweet foods. Stress has a way of sneaking into your progress more than you might think. Learning to manage stress is like having a clear day on a hike. It allows you to prepare and adapt. Techniques like mindfulness and exercise can help you weather the storm so you can carry on your ascent. Remember, a clear mind can soothe the roughest paths. Step three is, well, steps. Each step you take up the mountain is crucial. Steps will get you to the summit. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, is like the steady climb that stops you from stalling. Walking, cleaning, and even fidgeting might feel insignificant, but they all add up. Small actions equal significant progress. According to a recent study, over the last 100 years, due to technical advancements, we now burn 110 calories less per day through NEAT. That is 40,000 calories a year less than your great grandparents. And this reduction of daily activity could be the missing piece in your puzzle of weight loss. Skipping the small steps is making the incline more difficult on this mountain. Embracing every step keeps you feeling motivated and moving forward. Your NEAT is gonna help you burn thousands of calories a week. The final step is satiation. Imagine climbing the mountain without proper nutrition. Protein and fiber are gonna help you feel strong and energetic Protein not only supports muscle maintenance, but also has a high thermic effect of food, TEF, which means your body burns a lot of calories digesting it. And fiber helps you feel fuller for longer by slowing down digestion, and also gives you the energy that you need from all the nutrients. Have you ever been on a diet where you've restricted so much you feel like a zombie? Dragging yourself through the day, living off caffeine, only to crack and go to the vending machine after that meeting, that should have been an email. Remember how unsustainable that felt? Incorporating protein and fiber is gonna give you sustained energy so you can continue up that mountain and reach the peak. So think of the framework like this. Sleep is the map and oxygen you need to prepare for the hike. Stress management, avoid any storms on the way to the summit. Steps give you that tailwind to push you to the peak quicker and satiation gives you the energy to keep going. Could you reach the top of the mountain without these? Probably but it would take you a lot longer and you'd hate the journey. But here's the biggest mistake you're making that stops you from reaching the summit. You keep rushing the process. It's like you're trying to sprint up that mountain. It's exhausting. It's like when you're watching a film. You wanna know what happens at the end, 
But if Spielberg just cut straight to the conclusion, you wouldn't understand what happened. And you'd start it over and over and over trying to get the point of it, just like your weight loss journey. By rushing the process, trying to eat as little as possible, you're also developing a bad relationship with food. You're making certain foods off limit, which creates a punishment and reward cycle. And this is detrimental to long-term weight loss. Pair this with restricting your favorite foods and saying no to meals out with your friends and family because you're scared of the calories of the meals out and how it's gonna ruin your progress. And it's like throwing yourself back down that mountain, except this time you're starting further back. It causes isolation, dependency on emotional eating and a binge restrict mentality, which leads to excessive weight gain and fat overshoot, making it even more difficult to lose weight next time. By trying to sprint up that mountain, you're gonna lose motivation and energy and you're gonna give up. But by implementing the metabolic foundation framework, you're gonna be equipped to reach the peak and enjoy the journey.